Well, we are, I mean, most of us know that uh, starting with a, a keyword search and whatnot should produce some sort of a result. Uh, and, and again, I'll just uh, look at our website. Uh, this is uh, our, uh, our new content management system in, in which we built in uh, uh, keyword tools, uh, titles, descriptions. It's, it, it's not a plugin. It's just automatically there so you, you don't have to upload any plugins or anything. Uh, we just kind of try to make it easy. So uh, just look at like the page source and if I zoom in, uh, mainly I want to look at uh, the title. Uh, I want to make it more uh, relevant to what people actually search, what your product is about. Uh, and be as specific as possible. So, I mean, if you have a Wysik editor, you can go in and edit the title, or if you have Dreamweaver uh, program or, or whatnot, uh, any type of Adobe uh, Dreamweaver or whatnot, you can actually uh, uh, edit this on your own notepad, possibly. <clears throat> but uh, these are really simple uh, tips that would help you out as far as local search and uh, possibly national search as well. Um, these are the keywords. A majority of the time we'll put 7 to 10, seven to 10 uh, good quality keywords just kind of identifying again what that specific page is about. Um, sometimes we'll leave it blank and just uh, rely on the content on page. Uh, and again that's uh, based on choice and, and you have that option as well as to either put it in or or utilize the content that's uh, you know whatever whatever copy is relevant to your business and a description uh, exactly what the page is about and and again we keep that simple direct to the point all three of these no stuffing involved just direct to the point basically this is what I want people to type in to find my business um, and again I put a geo uh, locator in so that's uh, you know, if I look for, if I go back and do a search, um, I'll say response CMS, uh, let's say Fargo. And there it is. I mean, it's it's not rocket science, not very difficult. Uh, this is kind of the optimal position you'll want to be, uh, position one, two, or three. People usually click on the first one, as we know. Um, and it just... Uh, this is kind of interesting. I look at this search and just a general search um, position one, two, three, four. This is our Pinterest. This is my <coughs> this is my regular business site for uh, custom web design. We've been doing that since uh, 2005, so that shows up as well. Uh, next position is my website. Next position is my website. Next position, my Vimeo account and my SlideShare account. So. <laughs> there are different different techniques, different ways, but if you take up all of page one, you're doing pretty well. Um, and again, that's my my ultimate goal is to get national search as well. So, yeah, I'll get local business through our uh, uh, company website for custom web design, but uh, again, we'll definitely want to reach the national market, in which we do. So, uh, just to look at, you know, if you're buying ads and stuff like that, pay per clicks. That's not SEO, that's buying traffic. It's the same thing as going to Facebook and getting likes and stuff like that and getting people to the site. That's that's promotions, that's uh, nothing to do with SEO. So just basic on-page SEO, just to recap, uh, title, description, keywords, uh, copy and content, just kind of keep it relevant and direct to the point. <coughs> One thing I'd like to discuss is uh, just starting with a, a unique uh, business domain name. Now, I understand there are a lot of free tools out there. Most free website builders use old marketing techniques from 1999 still, uh, like GeoCities did. They'll give you, uh, say, for instance, you know, if I if I said uh, flexiblecms.geocities.com, well, what I'm really doing is promoting GeoCities and not my business. So that's why I bought FlexibleCMS.com. Start with a unique domain name that's going to be uh, relevant to your business. Um, you know, if you look at uh, the time and money you spent, spend or will spend on promoting it, so you did 
paper clicks and getting traffic to it and whatever, it doesn't make much sense to send it to, say, uh, whatever subdomain dot, say, websitebuilder.com. You know, it makes no sense. Why not just send it directly to your professional website domain? Uh, that's, yeah, uh, free is free, and I can understand the attraction, but start with something good, quality, and again, title, description, keywords, content, and a good quality domain, and that should help you tremendously. Um, what we offer for, uh, as far as like uh, mobile and responsive web design, that's part of our custom uh, CMS package. So, I mean, if something like that is to, uh, you know, we, we built that uh, to reach potential on-the-go users, uh, browser-ready, mobile-ready. So we make it easy for you to edit these very basic uh, SEO of optimization uh, areas for each page. So again, built-in, it's not a plugin, not something you need to uh, invest a lot of time worrying about, hey, is this plugin going to work tomorrow, or are they going to be around tomorrow? We built it in. So again, some good tips, and if you uh, try those out, let me know how it works out. Again, Tony with uh, FlexibleCMS.com. Thank you.